Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from the OP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you all the different screen options menus that exist inside of WordPress. Now, the screen options menu will always be found in the top right area up here of your WordPress pages in the admin area. And depending on which page you're on, you're going to have different options inside of the screen options. And these screen options control what you see on the page. So for example, in the dashboard, you can move stuff around by clicking and dragging the titles. And you can shrink stuff and hide stuff by clicking the little arrow. So in the screen options, we can actually take things right off of the page. And to open the options menu, all you do is hover over the screen options tab at the top and click on it. And then you can uncheck any or all of the items inside the screen options. If you uncheck them all, you will see nothing on that page. So there's some parts of your WordPress site and then depending on which plugins you have installed as well, where you'll have a lot of different screen options and you can turn off all the ones that you don't use and just keep the ones that you do use. For example, on the dashboard, the welcome tab or the welcome area right here is not something I commonly use. So I always uncheck that when I get into WordPress or click the dismiss button, which then unchecks it automatically. So we have the screen options panel or the yeah, screen options panel in the dashboard. You also have one under posts. If you click on just posts, you will see a listing of all your posts. And we have screen options that determine how many columns we see in the post description area. Say for example, you don't want to see the SEO title, meta description or focus keyword on the right hand side. Just uncheck them inside your screen options and they will go away. One important thing is that these options are user specific. So if you uncheck any items in here or adjust your screen options, that will only affect your user profile. If you have, if there's another user on your site, they can have their own screen option settings. So whatever you do in here only affects your user. Another handy feature inside of the, the pages where you have a listing of things, you can usually change the number of items per page. So if you have 200 posts and you have 20 per page, that means you're going to have 10 pages to click through to see all your posts. Or you can just add a zero, adjust that to 200, click on apply, and then you will have all 200 posts appearing on one page. Then you can do things like control F to find specific words on the page, which I find is a lot faster than using the search box up on the right. But you can adjust things to however you like them. And then even when you go to add new post and click on screen options, you have even more options. A bunch of these are because of the Aveda theme, featured image two, three, four, five. Those aren't on default WordPress installations, but all of these screen options, they link to an item on the page. If it's, if the box is checked, the item is visible. If it's unchecked, it's not visible. So the excerpt is the excerpt box where you can add an excerpt that some themes use uh, when they're displaying your post information. You can have the trackbacks and pingbacks box, the custom fields, discussion, which basically shows you which comments are on that post right in the, the edit, edit post area versus having to go to the specific comment section on the, on the left. The slug, which is the URL of your post the author, which is the author of the post. And if you check all of these, you'll have these boxes appear. I'll just check them right now and I'll show you what they look like. We scroll down, they're gonna be in the middle area. We scroll down, here's the excerpt box that we just added, trackbacks box, custom fields box, discussion box, the slug, the author, then we have a couple others that weren't unchecked before. But if we go back up to the top and we uncheck those again, you will see that they are gone. So we scroll down and all those options that were in between the SEO by Yoast and Revolution slider boxes, those are all gone now. And so whenever you land on a certain area in WordPress, I encourage you to look up in the top right and see if there is a screen options panel because it's in a lot of different places throughout your WordPress admin. And often if nobody tells you it's there, you don't even know. And there might be a bunch of options in there that aren't being shown on the page that you want to be shown. 
and you might get frustrated because of that. So I encourage you to look for that screen options panel, click on it, see what's in there, and just click on things. You can't really break anything here. Anything you click in here isn't going to break anything. It's just going to make things appear and disappear on that specific page you're on. It does not affect the front end of your website. So you can click to your heart's content and not be afraid of breaking anything. So in this video, we learned about the WordPress screen options and the fact that the screen options tab is throughout the WordPress admin and on every page, it's different. And I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to our channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write WordPress tutorials every single day. Talk to you soon.